here. Um, and we're super proud to be able to present Slut the Play here tonight. This play really packs a punch, especially towards the end. Um, I personally found that it really shifted my own thinking in ways that I completely never would have expected. And I'm hoping the same thing happens to each of you. Uh, the play is about an hour long, and right afterwards, we're going to have a talk back with the cast, and that's going to be moderated by actress, singer-songwriter, and women's rights activist, Bethany Joy Lentz. So that's going to be about another 30 minutes, and we hope that you can stay for that discussion. Um, you know, they say that the definition of culture is shared experience. And if that's the case, I think that we can really truly change the culture if we take what we experience here tonight and take it out into the world. So hopefully you'll all be same uh, fired up by this play as I am. Um, we're so grateful to the Smalley Wall Family Foundation for making these free performances possible here at the Hammer. And we're really thrilled to be able to co-present with Equality Now, which is such a powerful and important organization. And you're gonna hear more about them shortly. So now I'd like to introduce Yasmin Hassan, the Global Director of Equality Now. I'm just going to finish introducing you properly because I don't want to shortchange you, Yasmin. Um, before joining Equality Now, Ms. Hassan was the United Nations Division was the was with the United Nations Division for the Advancement of Women. She's been involved in women's rights since very early in her career, authoring the first ever study of domestic violence in Pakistan. Ms. Hassan holds a law degree from Harvard Law School, where among other subjects, she studied Islamic law and women's rights. Yasmin Hassan. I'm so thrilled to be here tonight to introduce this, the play slap. But before I do that, I want to take a minute to thank our board co-chair, Sue Smalley, husband, Kevin Wall, and their family for their generous contribution that has made uh, it possible to, uh, for us to bring the play to Los Angeles. I also want to... I also want to thank the Hammer Museum, and in particular, Claudia Bestor, for you know, putting on today's performance and doing this event here. Um, for those of you who don't know us, Equality Now is a 22-year-old international human rights organization uh, working to protect the rights of women and girls around the world through legal advocacy and through grassroots activism. Um, we um, are also the only international organization that works on fixing laws and legal systems to better protect the rights of adolescent girls around the world. Um, we, how we do our work, we work with grassroots organizations, activists and survivors all around the world in 190 countries. Um, those activists include the creators of tonight's play, uh, Katie Capiello, uh, who is the artistic director of Arts Effect and Meg McInerney, the managing director of Arts Effect. Um, so big hand for them. Um, I, I'll tell you a little story. Two years ago, our partnership with Arts Effect really started when Equality Now was turning 20 and we had a 20th anniversary event. At that event, uh, Arts Effect helped us bring to life the stories of three girls that we had been helping with their legal cases. These included a um, survivor of incest in Pakistan, a girl who had been raped by her teacher in Zambia and a child bride in Yemen. Uh, the piece was called When I Speak. It was written by our advisory board member, Joss Whedon. Um, and the girls from Arts Effect did a fabulous job of giving um, life to these girls and bringing their stories to life. Afterwards, we had such an amazing reaction. A lot of members from the audience, and I think some of you were there, if I remember correctly, a lot of members from the audience came up to me and, and said, um, we are so moved by this, and it's so sad that these things still happen in these other countries. So as you can imagine, this is not the message we wanted to give. Um, sexual violence against women, and in particular adolescent girls, is a universal phenomenon. It just takes different forms in different cultures in different places. And as the play Slut will demonstrate very clearly today, the effect that slut culture has on adolescent girls in the United States. Um, so in my mind, this is no different from a culture that tolerates the marriage of young children or a culture that uh, tolerates the rape of girls by their teachers. Um, so that being said, I also want to point out that we have the Santa Monica Rape Treatment uh, Center here. They are a partner, and if anybody needs to talk, they are here. Uh, that being said, I want to not take any more time, and I want you to all join me in welcoming the fabulous all-teen cast of the Arts Effect and the Play Slap. Thank you. Thank you. 